In this video, I wanna talk about a simple drill you can do at the driving range to learn your club distances. So what I like to do every so often, maybe once a month if I'm playing golf, is I'll go take a day at the range where I get a big bucket of balls. I usually buy a large because they have about 90 golf balls. And I'll go sit at the range and just practice hitting with all of my different clubs in my bag, trying to dial in how far I'm hitting each club. Now, the alternative way of doing this is to do this out on the golf course as well, so you can get a little more accurate data because you're gonna be able to measure from where you started on one of the holes to where your ball ended up. Where on the driving range, you just see it land out in the driving range and it's hard to get an approximate distance. You're kind of going off of the targets out on the range and how far it says it is to those targets. And then you're rough guessing how far that golf ball was from that target. So when we're hitting to 150 yard target and we see that golf ball come up short on the green, we're guessing we're probably 145. But out in the course, we can get more accurate data again by using our range finders, by using the golf cart data. If we have one of those golf carts that has a screen that tells how far we are we can touch different points on the map on the screen or if we get a watch that we can sit and track our shots there's a feature on a watch where you can press start and then you can move from your location and when you get to your ball you can press stop and you can see how far you just traveled from start to finish to see how far you hit your shot. So that's probably the more accurate way, but again, one of the simple drills I'll do on the driving range is just hit about five shots with each club and get a rough idea of how far I'm hitting each club. Trying to just swing normal 100%, not overkill, not under swinging. I'm just finding my normal 100% swing, setting up to each shot, and we're just gonna sit and hit those shots five times, and then we're gonna track the data after each shot trying to see how far we hit them. Another thing we can do is you can buy a launch monitor. It's a little device that you can set behind your golf swing so you can track your distances more accurately on the driving range. This is a better way to do it. Uh, it'll sync into either your computer or your smartphone. Some of them connect into different smartphone apps. So like the Mevo Plus, for example, this is what I use in my studio here when I'm playing on the simulator. So this is a ball flight launch monitor that you can set down uh, several feet behind you, but for illustrative purposes, I'm gonna set it right there. And it's gonna track your club speed and the ball speed as it's coming through the hitting zone to be able to predict how far you would hit that golf ball. So again, the flight scope, this is the Mevo Plus, and it is a lot of money to buy one of these, but they have more inexpensive launch monitors that you can buy specifically just for tracking swing data. They don't need to necessarily sync up to a golf simulator system, so you can find less expensive ones on Amazon as well. But these are gonna be great for finding out club speed and ball speed so you can find out distances you're hitting your different clubs by tracking with actual data or you can just rough it on the driving range using a range finder and kind of zooming out to your different targets that you're aiming at and kind of guessing roughly how far you're hitting each of your clubs. All right, so simple drill, hit five shots with one club, track your data, log it, then go to the next club, track your data, log it. Keep doing this over and over and over to get through all of your different clubs and then you should have have an idea of how far you're hitting each of your golf clubs. And this is gonna help you when you get out onto the course and play actual rounds of golf. Many golfers think they know how far they hit a certain club, but they haven't really checked, they haven't really dialed in those distances, and it could be costing you on the golf course. You could find that you're constantly going long, you're constantly going short, or you're just hitting inaccurate shots in general because you're playing the wrong club selection. You know, there should be situations maybe where you should have played an eight iron, but instead you played a seven iron because you didn't realize your actual club distances, and you end up hitting your seven iron worse than what you would have hit your eight iron. Your eight iron, you typically hit straight because it has more loft on it. So there's times where you could end up picking the wrong clubs and you could end up getting in wrong situations as a result by not having the right clubs dialed in for your distances. So do this drill, track data. Again, try to retest yourself maybe once a week, once a month to kind of make sure your distances are staying consistent. As our golf swing improves and we start working on swing technique and swing changes, we're gonna start hitting the golf ball better and this also is gonna impact our distance that we're hitting. So we're gonna end up hitting the golf ball further as we improve our swing. So we might need to recalibrate our club distances again every so often as we're making changes because we're gonna start changing how far we're hitting the golf ball when we make these swing changes. So it's a good thing to do this test once a month. Make sure we're staying dialed in on our club distances and you're gonna find you start playing better golf on the golf course.